Are you tired of wrestling with clunky footnotes or losing hours trying to perfect your references? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create professional, error-free citations in Microsoft Word without all the stress. By the end, you'll be citing references and sources like a pro, so let's jump right in. Okay guys, so here I have a template, just a basic Word document. Yours will probably look very different to this, but it will give you an idea of how to add citations and references in to your Microsoft Word document very, very easily. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll down. I'm just going to find something uh, around here, maybe. Uh, and we're just going to kind of put a citation in uh, somewhere around here. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is to kind of have something like this. It's already kind of documented, uh, the text that you want. It's usually a little bit easier, but not completely necessary. So I'm just going to randomly click right here, and then I'm going to head over to the ribbon, and we're going to navigate over to where it says References. We're going to click References, and then over here we have Citations and bibliography. From here, there's a couple of different styles, so make sure you choose the correct style for you. Um, I'm going to just keep it on there, and then we're going to go ahead and it says insert citation. I'm going to click the drop down menu and we're going to add a new source. I'm going to click that and you're going to end up with this pop out box right here. Okay, so this will be a list of different sources types that you can have, right? Everything from book, uh, book section, journal entry uh, articles. Um, and you know, if you scroll all the way down here, you can have reports, website, um, it could be art, it could be sound recordings, etc. I'm just going to click on website for the ease of this. Um, and then you can basically put in all the pieces of information. I'm just going to go ahead and type my name in here, um, name of the web page, how to guides, for example. Um, the website URL will be thatofficeguy.com. Um, and then down here we have the tag name. Okay, uh, so in here we can go ahead and give it a name uh, for whatever we want to appear inside the actual Word document. So here we can be that office guy like so and then I'm just going to go ahead and click OK and you'll note that that is put right inside here as a citation within our document now should you have made a mistake you can of course come in here we can use the drop down menu and we can go ahead and edit the source or edit the citation if we edit the citation you can edit the pages the author um, name and title and all that kind of stuff but if you actually go into the edit source it'll bring up your dialog box again where you can edit that alternatively you you could of course come over to here and you can see previous citations you can also click those and it will highlight them and put them in and so forth okay I'm going to undo that um, so that's kind of how you would add one in there if you wanted to remove it you could right click uh, well, choose a drop down menu sorry uh, and then basically convert it to a static text in doing so it will basically then remove that and you can go ahead and delete it likewise if you've made a mistake and you want to put it back in you just go ahead and click it and it's right way back into your document this is a nice and easy way to manage all of your citations so you can go into manage sources here on the ribbon you can see that you have a master list and you have your current list you can of course move them from one side to the other um, and so uh, and so forth right backwards and forwards and so as you need so basically that's as easy as it is to go ahead and actually add multiple sources into your Microsoft Word document and manage your citations and add them into your document this is a pretty straightforward process so if you have found this useful informative smash that like button let me know how it goes in the comments down below and do subscribe for more content on keeping up to date with the various hints and tips that I have for across various different pieces of software and if you haven't done so already check that video out right there it's one you probably don't want to miss